coach was talking about how the NFC East race starts now, and everybody's sort of at the same point. Three wins. Uh, how do you guys? How do you guys look at that with this, with six games left? And uh, you know, how exciting is that? Oh, uh, we're just trying to keep our feet where we are. Um, and we're going in every week. We're going into practice every practice. Attention to detail. Uh, just trying to stay present in the moment. We're not really looking forward to anything. Um, you know, we're just trying to go one and zero every every week. I think when Saquon went down early in the season, everyone thought this run game was going to be doomed. Why do you think you guys been able to get something going on the ground the last you know six weeks or so? Uh, I think it was attention to detail. Um, you know, guys have really honed down, and we knew that we had to get the run game going uh, in order to get the offense going. And the offensive line did a great job uh, honing in on their assignments and um, what they had to do to get it going. And the backs have been hitting the holes, um, running, running with a, a running with their pads over them, uh, running physical. So, uh, take my hats off to those guys. Your guy's been here for a while with Wayne. What's it like for you to see him, you know, kind of take advantage of this opportunity? Yeah, I mean, Wayne and I had a talk whenever uh, it was his week to be the uh, the starting back. And, um, you know, I told him straight up, this this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, go get it. And I've always had faith in Wayne ever since they beat up on us in, um, <laughs> in the playoffs in college. So um, I've seen him, seen him run the ball for years now and uh, couldn't wait for him to get his opportunity. Thanks. Art? Hey, Shep. Um, the last week or so, how challenging has this been for you guys? I mean, and, and for the leaders of this team, uh, how vocal have you been in terms of dealing with the ups and downs that you've had to deal with, the guys uh, who tested positive, knowing that you were all virtual, not on the field together, and yesterday strange. Um, I would imagine when things are going well, it's the last thing that you're expecting to have to deal with. How have you guys dealt with it? Well, I mean, we kind of did expect it. I mean, we, we talked about it at the beginning of the season uh, during camp, right before we came to camp, that, uh, you know, this is this is the new norm. And, um, you know, if those situations were to come up, we have to be focused and uh, be able to handle the Zoom calls. And uh, I've been proud of the guys and the way that everybody's been handling it. Um, you know, it hasn't it hasn't slowed us down. And we got to continue to to work hard in the zooms. I mean, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but uh, that's that's what we're in right now, and that's what we got to deal with. Thanks, Jordan. Hey, Shep. Uh, I'm wondering what this little stretch has been like for you. I mean, it had been a while since you were able to stay on the field and produce, and you know, kind of do what you expect to do. So, um, what's it feel like lately for you to kind of be back in the groove? Uh, it's been great. I mean, um, just trying to manage my foot throughout the week and uh, and get to the game and, um, you know, just trying to be focused and uh, help the team in any way I can. I mean, that's that's the type of player I am, and, uh, you know, that's what I'll continue to be. Were you worried about the injuries, I mean, as they kept piling up, or was it something you thought that this was only a matter of time before you got back to here? I mean, that's, that's the – that's this game, man. It's the NFL football. I mean, stuff happens like that. So you just got to take it for what it is and keep on moving. That's what we we'll keep doing. We'll keep pushing. We'll take we'll take a few more, Zach and Ed. Zach. Hey, Sterling. Um, I was wondering on the, on the other side of the ball. I'm sure you've gone against Darnay Holmes a lot in uh, practice and during training camp. And stuff. I'm curious, like what what you've seen out of a rookie like that who's been thrown into the fire, and you know, veteran quarterbacks are going to go after a rookie like that. Yeah, I mean he knows that, uh, but I love I love Darnay and his in his fight, man. Uh, that's what I've always said about Darnay. You can you can beat him one play, but he's gonna come back at you. And uh, those are the type of guys that I love to play with, and that everybody in the locker room loves to play with. Thanks. Last one here, Ed. Hey, Shep. You guys have a lot of of younger players who haven't played you know meaningful games at the end of November and into December. The, the past couple of years, how important is it just for progress and, and for those guys to to play in games that, that mean something in the standings and, and what can they really learn from it, you know, going forward? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's for us older guys and guys that have come in here that have played in those important games um, to stress to the younger guys how important it is and um, how, how fortunate we are to be in this situation because um, you know, we've all been on the other side of that. So, um, you know, having everybody just focus in on their keys and uh, being able to execute in this important time.